Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village. I've got the Ping G400 crossover and the Ping G400 hybrid to review. I'm going to review them both in this video as a review anyway, but also as a bit of a head-to-head. -head. So I think these two golf clubs play the same part in a lot of players' bags. Some players will prefer a hybrid, some players will prefer an iron. I'm going to start with the crossover. By the way, both of them come with head covers. That was the question we got asked loads on the G400, uh, the crossover last time. Does it come with a head cover? The crossover this time it does as well as it did last year. If you remember last year, they brought out, the, or a year and a half ago actually it was, the crossover, they brought it out as a replacement to sit between fairway woods and long irons for some golfers. It's like a, basically like a driving iron. It's in the three, four and five iron. Same again this year. And they've changed the finish. It was a black finish last time, and now they've hydro pearled the finish. They're claiming that it's going to go higher. It's got faster ball speed off the face. And the whole profiling of the head is much slimmer this time. There's tungsten weight in the toe. And it sits, I think it just looks like a really chunky. It looks like an eye blade just after Christmas. It looks like an eye blade that's just been feasting out. You can change the loft on it, i.e., the three, four, and five, and you can change the lie angle from a custom fitter. That's the advantage of a crossover, that loft can be tweaked and the lie angle can be tweaked. Not you, I just mean as a custom fit option. Hybrid, you can change the lie angle, but loft is fixed, which is a real shame. I thought they could have made an adjustable neck for the hybrid this year, but they've not. I've got this in this fancy shaft. This is the Alpha CB. Alta CB, sorry, and this is the copper shaft this way round. So when I'm holding it this way, it's copper. When I spin it round and put it behind the ball, it looks black. Or oh, certainly darker. Not pretty much black. You'll see a lot more multi-compound grips and golf pride grips on ping clubs these days and other options of grips because I think they're dropping the actual ping uh, grip itself but all the colour options are still available. So you can go still thin to, to thicker grip. GC Quad Pro V1s, let's hit the crossover. Actually, I like the black finish more than I like this finish. And I'm a big fan of this finish, but the black, for me as a driving iron, just really stood out. This just looks like, it does, it just looks like a massively um, oversized eye blade. It is a big chunky club. I've got the flag at 250, even though it's only 22 degrees. I, I'm not sure how far this might go. Oh, it sounds, oh, it sounds horrible. <laughs> I don't know whether that was just the strike or whether that, what that was, but it sounded really kind of like clunky. That might have just been the strike, actually. Let me just hit, hit it again. 217 carry for 234, way offline. Was it a really toey strike? I mean, that tungsten weight is supposed to be helping that. It was toey, but not ridiculously. Sounded awful. Let me hit that again. So loud and cracky. That was out in the middle that time, I must admit. Yeah, it's going to be just shorter than that 250. I'm thinking it's an 18 degree, but it is a 22. 236, good hit, high ball flight, really high ball flight. I just don't like the sound of that at all. It sounds really kind of hollow and like, uh, just, just a bit, I don't know, a bit too loud for ping. Almost a bit too like, explosive. You would definitely be recognised if you were hitting this on the driving range. People would be turning their heads. I can't quite get on with it. And I didn't, I didn't last time, and I, I've not this time. It doesn't, doesn't feel like they've made a lot of changes apart from a different colour. It must have been popular because they brought it back. But I just don't see its real, real purpose. I feel like they could have just made a better driving iron than this. This is going high. It's very loud. It's obviously a hollow head. It's just a bit too kind of chunky, too chunky. It's right in the middle of that driving iron and crossover category. And I think that category has been covered. There's a lot of driving irons out there. There's lots of hybrids. This kind of sits somewhere in that, that middle of the space of those two. It 
does go super high, but that's why you've got a hybrid. Mm, not convinced. Not convinced at all. And I was mega excited last time and this time round to hitting that because I just feel like it's got all the makings of an incredible golf club. One, it sounds hollow and not particularly nice. Not compared to when I've just been hitting the driver and the irons. The irons, the, the I, G400 irons and the G400 driver have both sounded and felt fantastic this time around. And that just does not keep within that same category. Okay, so we move into the hybrid. Turbulators on top, which are bolder. So like the G400 driver, bold turbulators, um, four fangs on top of the head. High density weight in the back, which is helping with lower center of gravity further back. It looks stealth. It looks really good. You can change the lie angle. The lie angle can be changed by two degrees up and, uh, flatter or up more upright, but you cannot change the loft. Lie angle cannot be self-adjusted. You've got to get that fitted adjusted. Same shaft. Let's give this a hit. It looks smart. I like the black finish on that. Let's see how this compares to the crossover. For me, it's not, it's almost not even a comparable because the cr I'm not a big hybrid fan. I really am not. I'm much more of a fan of driving irons, but that straight away sounded better, flew better, seemed easier to hit. When I address it behind the ball, it looked really stealth and smart. I reckon there'd be no difference on performance. And in fact, I think the hybrid might have even done slightly better. I'll hit four, and then we have a, a fair comparison between the two. Even that was a heely, a toey strike, sorry, but still sounded incredible. These are both 22 degrees of loft, these two golf clubs, the hybrid and the crossover. It'll be interesting to see what the spin rates look like or what the height looks like, launch angle. I'm telling you what I'm feeling and sounding, and for me the feel and sound of the hybrid is far superior than what I'm getting off the crossover. And I'm not, a big I'm not a big hybrid fan, but this is coming out lovely. This is coming out really nice. High, easy to hit, looks great behind the ball, sounds incredible. Sounds just like the driver and, and it gives me the feel of the, uh, the G400 irons. And bear in mind, I've had, an, I've had the eye blades and that's what the crossover looks more like, but it just doesn't feel or sound or give me the feelings of any pin club that I've hit this year, unfortunately. Let's go one more cross out, uh, one more hybrid. That was a bottom one, but four very healthy hits. Let's pull up the numbers and see if there's much difference between the crossover and the hybrid. Okay, so the results are in from the crossover and the hybrid. Now you, I'm guessing you got my feeling of which one of these two I preferred hitting. For me, the hybrid sounded better, flew better, was easier to hit and looked better. Crossover, as much as I should absolutely love this club, just doesn't sound well. I don't believe it's that good looking and I don't believe it's that easy to, to hit. So I look at the numbers. If we look across the board, crossover is at the top, hybrid is at the bottom. The carry distances are exactly the same for the two shots, both at 216, well, the crossover is 216, the hybrid is 217. Nothing in it at all. The height, both heights of the clubs went 34 yards up in the air. Both peak height was exactly the same height. Ball speed off the hybrid was faster and the spin was better off the hybrid. When really, you'd imagine the iron would have more spin, but the hybrid spun better at 5,000. It's almost better than the four iron in the, probably the set. Launch angle was higher with the crossover. So it starts high and it stays pretty high, but it doesn't seem to have a lot of spin the crossover. Probably great in the wind, if I'm honest. However, the hybrid for me comes out a little bit lower, fine. Spins up, fine. And lands with more of a descent angle with the same distance, 
I'd be choosing the hybrid all day. Getting it to land softly into greens, into par fours, into par fives, perfect the hybrid for that. The crossover for me should be a driving iron, but it doesn't give me the feel and the, 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 the sound and everything that I want from a crossover. It just doesn't sound quite as good. But this is just my opinion as always, go out and test them yourselves. But if you're looking for a hybrid from Ping, just out of interest, just try the crossover as well when you get opportunity. Some golfers are going to love this product. I know it. And I'm not a big hybrid fan, but in this fight, I would sway towards hybrid every time. As much as I want to love crossover, I just have to, I have to go with the feel and the looks of the hybrid every single time over that. Guys, as always, though, go and check these products out yourself. I think they make clubs that look great. Certainly, the hybrid looks great. Just the crossover just reminds me of a big fat eye blade. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click thumbs up. It's kind of a review and a comparison between these two golf clubs. I think if you're looking for a long iron replacement, you either go four iron from the set, hybrid or crossover, but as always, test all three of them whenever you get opportunity to do so before purchasing. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the reviews. If you've not seen the drivers and the iron reviews, all the links up here in the corner. I've just got the fairway was to re review next coming very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.